Our Jordan Conway, 17 and two. What a great career. He's been there when they need him. And going up against Zane Richards, the junior, undefeated, has not made that All-American status yet. And uh, it's a, it, every match is a big one for him. Well, it really is. I mean, he hasn't had the experience that Conaway has, but Conaway last season, you know, with the red shirting of Mega Lutus, that created a little spot there for him and he took advantage of it by getting on the stand. And, uh, you know, he's one of those high character guys and had some big wins in his career. Under control. Remember that come from behind match that he had against uh, uh, at Wisconsin? There's the takedown by, by Richards. And, and you could tell that when Richards walked out of the mat, you know, we knew what the order of a, a bouts was, but he was ready to go right from the introduction. So to see if he's been able to maintain his intensity for the last minute, hour and 45 minutes, seen a lot. You know, sometimes you can get kind of uh, worn down by watching your teammates. You know, you, you, and it, it just looked to me like he was ready to go. So I expected him to be shot out of a cannon, and he's just done exactly that. Richards ranked number two undefeated out in front of Conaway, two to one. Conaway, as Jim said, he's been there where Penn State needs, needs him. 133, then down to 125, and back to 133. Been given a great opportunity by the coaches, and he has responded. All-American last year at 125, filling in for the red-shirted Megalutus. Well, you can see where, where Rutherford looks like he is right for the weight, and, and uh, Gulaban is, uh, uh, looks you know, solid for the weight, and so they had no no qualms about uh, you know you know getting a, a more balanced lineup out there with Conaway, the All American, and really makes him tough. Yeah, and good for Conaway. I mean, it just shows you. I mean, he's he's in there. He works every day. He's prepared, and he has been given a great opportunity at Penn State, and he's responded. Richards, out of Carbondale, Illinois, a couple of great campaigns as a freshman and a sophomore, but falling short. Of all American status. Remember that little roll through that uh, Megalutus just hit right there? Richard's taking a different approach. He's basically went out front and kind of unsuccessful here. His arms are too spread out to be able to finish that single leg technique. Conaway from Abbottstown, Pennsylvania, New Oxford High School. Finished eighth last year at 125 at the NCAAs. Big win for hey, Richards earlier a couple of weeks ago against number one ranked at the time, Corey Clark from Iowa. Sudden victory win in their dual meet with Iowa. Also has beaten Johnny, uh, Johnny DeJulius from Ohio State and Rossi Bruno from Michigan. A good campaign so far. Absolutely, best guys, some of the best guys in the weight class. Again, this 33 pound, with a lot of balance, kind of a lot like 184 this year. You've got a lot of guys that are, Got the returning national champions in both weight classes, but she got a lot of uh, uh, tough guys. And that, that uh, you know, Good. that round on Thursday evening of the national tournament will have a lot of seated guys going against you. Nice high crotch attempt there, and then switched off to a double. Good work there by Richards. At the end of the first period, he rides him out. Big takedown for Richards out in front, four to one. No chance for a response by Conaway. There's Jeremy Hunter, two-time NCAA champion, one of the all-time great lightweights for Penn State we are talking about. Longtime assistant for Mark Johnson, and now seven years with Jim Heffernan. Caution on Richards. Jeremy Hunter reminding Richards it's a long set to wait. It's a new rule this year. Emphasis, point of emphasis. He's not wasting time basically fighting. He has a nice turn back in into the runner position. And, and Conaway is, is sometimes is a uh, you know bit of a slow starter. He's a guy that can come on. We've seen that happen Got a motor before. So this is not this is not over with. He keeps good position. Off the hands, okay, off the hands, right? Warning. Finger clasping warning by the official. Conaway 17 and two this year, had a big fall against number five, Dom Malone of Northwestern last weekend. And so uh, Conaway getting his uh, first fall of the season. There's his shot. He's got a nice head to the outside shot. Richards locked in pretty well there. Looked for Conaway to try to get his head up underneath 
this knee right here and try to get that head underneath. Got, kind of work to protect. You got to do all that. Things. He got the head underneath that time. We lost the angle of the shot there, but now this is an advantage here for Richards. Do a little butt drag going around the top. And hand control work right there. Now Conaway has an opportunity to go ahead and, and cut the corner, but he keeps his ankles together. And Richards is going to score off that. Good scrambling by Richards. Another takedown for Richards. Uh, under 40 seconds left in the second period. And now going to try to. Build up some riding time. Three out in front, seven to one. Richards for Illinois. The last match of the afternoon with, uh, and, and, and Illinois trying to get their fourth win out of 10, but those six wins so far for Penn State have come with a whole lot of bonus points. Three pins, a tech fall, a major. Wow. Well, Richards has used three different techniques, you know, one with the last takedown was just a really good scramble, and then he, the, the, oh, be able to attack the right blade of Conway to get both takedowns, one off the underhook and one off of just an inside bicep tie. So he's got to be happy with what he's been able to accomplish at this point, get two takedowns against the All-American. Short time in the second period. If he rides him out, he'll have riding time. We're talking about Richards from Illinois trying to ride out Conway here. Gain that riding time and not give a point to the Penn State Nittany Lion, and he is successful doing it. Yeah, let's take a look at the replay. This looked like a position that Conaway could have scored on. He got the head below the knee, and watch him use his right hand to pop up, gets himself in a good athletic position, but not able to square up. And look at the job that Richards does. He's, his chest is up and his hips are down, right? He's able to go around and get that uh, butt drag for the score. Actually, not the butt drag. He actually went into the... Uh, uh, you know, drop back in the leg, but really good work of dropping his hips, keeping his chest up at the critical moment in that technique, not allowing uh, Conaway to score. This is a big test. You brought it up. Big test right here for Richards because Conaway does have a motor. He never gives up. Richards has been known to, you know, to give up big leads, and uh, so it's a great opportunity for the Illini to uh, not let that happen and keep it going. Yeah, they, you know, they they drew with this meet. Again, this was a said in the beginning that the uh, line in the sand was being drawn by the program here. You know, this is Penn State coming in, number one. They wanted to have a good performance. I think Richards was ready right from the introductions. But what's he going to have left in the third period? Richards looking very fundamentally sound, been able to score and get out of uh, situations. And so, so far, a very workmanlike, nice job by the second ranked undefeated, Zane Richards. He's got the advantage on this tie as well, Tim, right there. See, he likes going to his left, to Conaway's right, and, and Conaway leads that leg. You see, he's just kind of drifting left the whole time. And is there a call? Didn't see whether there was a call uh, on that or not, but. Uh, finish the match. Be ready for the reach shot. You go get a shot. Go finish. Finish right here. Finish right. See that the Illinois corner is really wanting uh, Richards to finish strong. That last 35 seconds, go out and get one more takedown. Finish on a strong note. And for Conaway, he just really he's only had one really decent shot to get there, and then this is the power that you have here where he drops those hips on the mat, keeps the chest up, slides back down the man, creates a little bit of distance, and it really makes it difficult for Conaway to finish. A solid win for Zane Richards, and this is a go-behind situation. Wait on the hands. No, no points. Shake hands, guys. At this stage of the match, I don't think they're going to probably go to the Zane review Richards, on that. your winner over the All-American. Zane Richards remains undefeated, winner by decision. Illinois gets their fourth win.